My name is Keenan Neely and welcome to my February 2013 market review for the month of January 2013. Home buyer demand remains below historical averages in the Greater Vancouver housing market. Residential property sales in Greater Vancouver reached 1,350 on the multiple listing service in January 2013. This represents a 14% decrease compared to the 1,580 sales recorded in January 2012 and an 18% increase compared to the 1,140 sales in December 2012. January sales were the second lowest January total in the region since 2001 and 19% below the 10-year sales average for the month. Home sales activity have been below historical averages in Greater Vancouver for seven months. This has caused a gradual decline in home prices of about 6% to 588000 since reaching its peak in the spring of 2012 when the composite benchmark price for all residential properties in Greater Vancouver was $625,000. Many home sellers are opting to remove their homes from the market rather than settle for a price they don't want. The total number of properties currently listed for sale on the MLS is 13,200, a 6% increase compared to January 2012 and 4.5% decline compared to December 2012. This is the fourth consecutive month that overall home listings have declined in our region. With the sales to active listings ratio at 10%, the region remains in the buyer's market territory. Since June, this ratio has ranged between 8 and 11%. Sales of detached properties in January 2013 reached 540, a decrease of 18% from the 660 detached sales recorded in January 2012. Sales of apartment properties reached 580 in January 2013, a decline of 12% compared to the 660 sales in January 2012. Attached or townhome property sales in January 2013 totaled 230, a decline of 11% compared to the 260 sales in January 2012. If you'd like to get a current value specific to your home, feel free to call me and I'd be happy to provide you with a pressure and obligation-free assessment. I'm Keenan Neely and I appreciate you taking the time with me today.